friends, it's Em and welcome back to another video. Today I am setting up my April monthly spread as well as my first week's worth of goals in my Laurel Denise mini horizontal planner. I, uh, I debuted this last month and I've just been really happy with how it's working for my routines. I like being able to see my home tasks on the left and my content tasks on the right. And then I have my entire content bullet journal, as you know, and that that's for more like ideating and creativity. This is more for like, okay, but I need to do the thing. <laughs> it is undated, so I do need to put in all of the uh, dates along the side. Here, I, I saw this on the Laurel Denise ch uh, channel where they put them like sideways because they fit perfectly sideways and then you don't lose like a whole row of writing space. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> I'm also using this sunflower washi from Marigona Suli Art and the, um, I don't know the name of the sheet, but it's the, the really cute like male Pokemon, flying po type Pokemon sheet from Peppercut Studios. It's just so exciting. It's so exciting. So we are moving officially. We bought a house or in two days we will have officially bought a house. <laughs> so the uh, usually I don't have much for my physical environment because I'm pretty happy. You know, well, we, we did some setups like my house is where my apartment was set up. So this month is going to be a huge physical environment change which I'm excited for, but like at the same time, I'm terrified because, you know, we had to, we had to go to Lowe's and buy a shovel so that we would be able to put in our mailbox. <laughs> like we have to buy a mailbox and it's just, it's a lot. Like it's going to be worth it. I know it's going to be worth it, but right now in this first week, like, it, it feels, it feels like a lot. <laughs> so I just need to keep track of everything that's going on, whether it's like a final walkthrough, a closing, when we're getting our internet set up, we're getting fiber internet, which I'm very excited for. Cause I had that in my old apartment back in Indiana and my upload times were like ridiculously fast. Uh, for a while here, we had just regular Comcast and it was not good. It was like two hours to upload a video. It, it, you'll notice that that's when I started editing my videos and they got a lot shorter. <laughs> I'm also just like, I don't know. It's, it's real. it's all really exciting, but it's really overwhelming. <sighs> Cause I'm going to have to set up like my new craft space. And I'm not I'm not entirely sure how I wanna do it. I wanna make sure that I have a good work from home setup. So that's gonna mean having two desks, potentially a standing desk and a walking pad, which would be sick. Very excited about that. But like, I also have to keep in mind that, you know, some home projects are gonna take more priority, even though, you know, the the craft room is a high priority for me, it isn't a high priority for the cats or for Gil, right? Versus having blinds, that benefits all of us. <laughs> so this month I, is definitely like, it's gonna be a big month. We ha do have Go Wild this, right? Like a week after we move. So that will be fun. I do love unpacking. I really do. I love putting things where they belong. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm anxious in a good way, but also maybe in a bad way. I'm still not entirely sure. This, this month is mostly going to be financial and physical environments. And you know, when when the routine shifts, right? It's gonna be fundamentally different. 
I'm going to have to figure out a whole new exercise routine. Not that I'm in one right now. <laughs> like, believe me, one of my goals for the month is to figure out a workout routine that actually works because what, what I'm doing right now is not working because what I'm doing right now is nothing. But in some good news, I think May, we don't have to pay our mortgage. I think we have like a month's stay on that, which I'm pretty happy with. We should also be getting most of our security deposit back and our security deposit for our apartment was like a first month's rent. So it was expensive. So that would be incredibly helpful. <laughs> I also just really want, I don't know. I feel like I've been reading a lot of books and I've been enjoying them, but I haven't been having anyone to talk about them with. So I think I'm going to try and do more buddy reads and like make, make like a concerted effort to talk about it for more than like a minute. So something cool that I started doing with my mom, <laughs> which for me, like I, before this, I would talk to my parents like twice a year, which I know for a lot of people is just astronomically low. Um, but I started this and so we started reading Parable of the Sower together and then we would text about it and we would talk about it and stuff like that. And so that's that's sort of what I'm doing. I need to one of my weekly actions this week is going to be to pick a new book to read with my mom because we both finished Parable of the Sower and we're like, whoa, because <laughs> it, it's it's dystopian and it's it's really messed up. But like. We did have a lot to talk about, so there's that. <laughs> I also really love having um, a weekly walk goal, which is not anything based on like step count or anything like that. Just that I went outside and walked. That is all that goal is. And literally right after this, uh, as soon as this video uploads, I am gonna go for my last weekly walk and it's gonna be great. Like the weather in Knoxville is phenomenal and I'm so excited. It's also Easter, so like there shouldn't be too many like people being obnoxious or anything like that, which is exciting. <laughs> I also, oh man, I should have put pantry on my on my actions list we we have to figure out how we want to do our pantry that's i think that's gonna be my archer and olive project for the month which you guys will see in like june i think that's when that that's gonna upload but <laughs> that's where we're at i also i don't have any weekly fun actions and i'm wondering if i should if i should come up with some if you have any ideas for what i could put as my weekly fun action that would be cool we have been you know eating out a lot this week partially because we're moving a, a little bit further away and we're like oh i want to have my last my last meal at such and such even though we'll it's like a five minute drive we'll still we'll still be able to come but we went to our favorite ice cream place last night and oh it was so good. They're offering like cinnamon roll sundaes now, which I did not get, but I absolutely would have gotten it any other day. Like, it's just that yesterday we did a whole bunch of eating out. Like we went to our favorite Indian food place and we went to a coffee shop for breakfast and got like four different pastries. I don't really know why even. I think partially just because it's Saturday, partially because like, I don't know. <laughs> but this morning our, uh, our cats broke into their treats and ate like half the bag and then we're vomiting everywhere. So, you know, maybe that was some kind of karma. <laughs> love I love this planner I love combining the Laurel Denise like layout with the moxie life goal setting I just watched uh, Simi's new video about essentially the goals that 
would be the most impactful for your life are often not the ones that you are actively trying to do. And I was like, oh man. And that's why I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for that walk. <laughs> uh, and because yeah, for me, I find that, I find that despite the fact that I sit here and I go, man, I want to be more active. I want to improve my health. I'm not doing anything for it. And so obviously it's not gonna get better. So I just need to go and do the thing. So whether whether it's just like a little bit of stretching or going for a walk every so often, I'm just gonna go after it. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. This, this week, I'm hoping, I know that April's gonna be crazy. I, I know this because we're closing on a house and there's go wild and there's all sorts of things, but I'm really excited for it. Like, I just can't wait to have this month happen for us. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to see more, and let me know what one of your goals for April is. And as always, happy planning.